This is the epitome of insincerity. Meghan and Harry make an appearance in San Diego to demonstrate their support for veterans. However, as is customary, it is merely a spectacle designed for gaining public attention. Hello, with all the regal splendor, we warmly welcome you to the Princess Diana News Channel. Now, let's get to the video. The gruesome twosome seem to persistently maintain an illusion of being American royalty. Unfortunately, despite the impossibility, it seems like they are persistent in their pursuit. Naturally, as faux royals, they are obligated to attend ribbon-cutting events as a formality. According to the Daily Mail, Harry and Meghan honor you by donning poppies. S. Navy SEALs facility in San Diego hosted former military servicemen in anticipation of Armistice Day. To begin with, who does Meghan believe she is by choosing to wear a red poppy? Especially after her disrespectful actions towards the late Queen and her entire family. Meghan Markle displays an absolute lack of appreciation towards veterans. Seriously, let's be realistic. When the time came for Harry to participate in a memorial ceremony for soldiers, let us recall what transpired. Smartly paraphrased, Meghan successfully persuaded him to skip accompanying the veterans, fellow soldiers, in order to join her for the grand premiere of The Lion King. This woman lacks any concern for veterans whatsoever. However, she never fails to be front and center at every event she attends, always making her presence known. Meghan's facial expression of a Richter's grin was analyzed by a body language expert who concluded that she was compensating excessively. According to The Mirror, Judy James, a body language expert, observed that during his interactions with veterans and their families, Prince Harry appeared less content compared to his smiling wife, Meghan Markle. Naturally, Meghan and Harry received an invitation to visit downtown San Diego, where they joined the United States Navy SEALs for the grand inauguration of a state-of-the-art training facility. During the ribbon-cutting ceremony, Harry maintained a solemn expression while Meghan made a deliberate effort to display excessive happiness. It is fascinating, right? Each time they venture out, whether for enjoyable events like attending concerts by Beyoncé or Katy Perry, or for official royal duties such as ribbon-cutting ceremonies, it never fails to capture our attention. Meghan can often be seen strolling around with an exuberant grin reminiscent of the Cheshire Cat, while Harry appears somber as if he received devastating news about his beloved pet. I mean, dot I'm curious about what Meghan discusses with Harry in private. I wonder what they talk about and if she acknowledges that their conversations may appear unfavorable. She is strolling around with a presence that suggests he has taken control of her. To put it differently, based on these pictures, that appears to be the case. Is Harry being punished for his inability to convincingly appear happy, or is this merely a strategic move in their ongoing interaction with the media? According to body language specialist Judy James, there is strong evidence suggesting that Meghan holds the dominant position in their relationship. She discussed Meghan's involvement in the ceremony, specifically mentioning how she enthusiastically greeted the crowd. At a certain moment, she had to encourage Harry to move ahead as he hesitated and remained awkwardly behind. Judy observed that Meghan's body language appears to be excessively compensatory. A parent's enthusiastic smile and radiant expression when their child is sulking or proving to be challenging. Additionally, she implied that there appeared to be a sense of detachment between Meghan and Harry during the event. I am confident that was indeed the situation. The baby named Howie was proving to be quite challenging. Due to his upset expression, Mommy Megan had to intervene and provide him with assistance and support. That relationship is incredibly unsettling. I can't help but notice that the two of them seem intent on openly displaying their dysfunction, almost as if they are intentionally advertising it to the world. Why was Harry so distressed? I assumed this was the type of occasion he desired. I genuinely believed he held some concern for those in service, or so he professed. 
I comprehend the reason behind his unhappiness during those concerts. He had no desire to remain in that place. I don't think anyone would be interested in accompanying Megan, but as for this particular occasion, I'm not sure. In my opinion, it would have been more thoughtful if he had made an effort to show some joy about being present for the veterans. However, it appears that Harry found it too exhausting to continue pretending to be happy. According to the expert's observation, it appears that Meghan and Harry's usually close bond momentarily changed. Meghan energetically walks ahead, while Harry hesitates and glances back, seemingly unwilling to reciprocate the same level of happiness. Even Meghan's firm touch on his back and assertive steering motion is needed to persuade him into moving towards the hosts after he stops for a conversation. Wow, okay. At this juncture, Harry is in a dilemma about whom he desires to engage in conversation with. He lacks the ability to regulate his own actions. Meghan will be physically controlling him, in a literal sense. I also adore how Judy vividly portrayed Meghan confidently striding ahead of Harry. That could be one interpretation. I must say, what an overly controlling and manipulative individual. Judy noted that Harry always positions himself behind Meghan, supporting her as she basks in the spotlight. In addition, he employs a defensive action by crossing his arm to secure his jacket while nervously rubbing his hands together, seemingly indicating inner unease. At this juncture, I am firmly convinced that they have entirely lost their grasp on reality. Currently, their perception of their own portrayal is beyond their comprehension. They believe they are receiving positive attention, but in reality, they are not. They are simply presenting themselves as utterly crazy. In other words, Harry appears to be confined while Meghan pretends to be content in a role that feels forced and unsettling. It is logical to conclude that this occasion, like others, was organized by WME, as Meghan is clearly in complete control. Although Harry isn't usually the one making decisions in their activities, let's recall the occasions when he was in Tokyo and Singapore. He experienced immense excitement upon arrival. Therefore, I am skeptical that the misfortune experienced by Harry is directly linked to the specific occurrence. I believe he would be open to offering his support to the veterans. However, in my opinion, Harry did not voluntarily choose to be part of this occurrence, and that is the underlying reason for his unhappiness. And, truthfully, I can understand why he feels that way. I have a feeling that occasionally the individual simply desires to stay indoors and engage in playing video games. However, Meghan is determined to continue pursuing her aspirations in Hollywood and wants her partner to support her. She has come to the realization that she does not receive positive attention when she attends events alone, so she encourages him to accompany her. It seems that Meghan believes it is sufficient for Harry to accompany her. It is evident that she may need to exert some effort to convince him, but it is not a significant concern. At that moment, an uncomfortable situation arose when Meghan signaled to Harry. Judy also mentioned this, explaining that it was a conspicuous and forceful gesture, as Harry paused to converse with someone. Engaging in discreet physical contact is acceptable as long as it is essential and kept discreet from others. However, this grand act suggested a form of authority that was almost fatherly in nature. Public relations professionals, with their characteristic style, escorted him confidently and smoothly, mirroring the manner in which they guide individuals on the red carpet. It may also indicate someone displaying their authority. Harry may not have felt humiliated after that performance, despite the expectation. Currently, it seems that he has endured such incessant hardships that he has lost all sense of direction and stability. I believe his current state of unhappiness in his relationship with Meghan has reached a point where he desires an escape, but finding a suitable destination seems uncertain. It would have been convenient if Harry had a supportive family to turn to, however, he has already extensively criticized them in various forms, including a documentary series, a book, and numerous interviews. Therefore, due to this particular reason, it becomes exceedingly difficult for me to experience any empathy towards him.
Despite Meghan likely being in control of their decisions since they started their relationship, Harry willingly went along with them. While he may not be the mastermind behind these nefarious schemes, he unequivocally capitulated to each and every one of them. Upon severing all ties with his family, it became evident to him that he had forfeited any chance of seeking their support in times of need. Perhaps, in due time, we may discover that Harry was ensnared in a toxic, self-absorbed partnership from which he couldn't break free. It's conceivable that he was manipulated and genuinely lost his sense of self. While it's possible that he might exhibit remorse for his actions, I remain somewhat skeptical. I am confident that Harry has fully and willingly engaged in all of this. I believe he consistently had issues regarding his family. He constantly experienced being regarded as inferior, but Meghan urged him to express his emotions freely. In hindsight, he might have benefited from holding back certain thoughts or emotions given the subsequent events that unfolded. However, once you disclose family secrets and fabricate falsehoods about your family to the public, it becomes irreversible, causing a significant issue. That's it for the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and share with those interested. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thanks for joining us, have a great day, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.